turn up the sound if you have to. 123 American Kennel Club AKC dogs as watchdogs guard dogs. The book The Right Dog for You says a watchdog is barking and a guard dog is physical. There are other sources that say the same. Individual dogs can be different like this dog trainer says. This dog trainer says the same. Great Danes are known to protect. Watch what happens when this person comes in the home. This person had a bite suit on and the owners wanted him to come in to see what their dogs would do. Italian greyhounds can be timid. I think I read the following. Most will bark. If their owner or property is threatened, they will bark and get agitated. But there are exceptions. So maybe those exceptions will do more. If a dog barks, don't take the chance. The book The Right Dog for You shows how 123 AKC dogs are as watchdogs and guard dogs. Some dogs it shows are as well-bred, WB, and some as puppy mill, PM. It's been said to avoid puppy mill dogs. I think some pet stores get puppies, get puppies from puppy mills. Ask them where they got them, and if possible, ask for proof where they got their pups. Cell 1. Because these breeds are emotionally vacillating, low in territoriality, submissive to timid with strangers, and very alert watchdogs, they tend to be a nuisance. They will bark incessantly, usually from under a table or behind a chair, when any visitor enters or at the slightest noise, frazzling their owner's probably already shattered nerves. Most are small to tiny dogs, save the interesting addition of the puppy mill St. Bernard. These breeds may be too noisy for an apartment, barking up a storm whenever someone walks past the door. These dogs are the St. Bernard Puppy Mill, Dalmatian, Sky Terrier, Collie, <coughs> I believe, the, oh, okay, a, a wired-haired pointing griffon, Irish water spaniel, dachshund, Boston terrier, Lhasa Apso, Tibetan terrier, Bedlington terrier, um, miniature schnauzer, puppy mill, Manchester terrier, Brussels griffon, Papillon, Affin pincher, Poodle, uh, Toy Poodle, the well-bred one. By the way, the Collie, it talks about the rough Collie, uh, which is Lassie, and the, the smooth Collie. This book talks about, if you see them again, it talks about both. A smooth Collie with, um, looks like a rough Collie with short hair. Cell 2 also contains incessant barkers. They are less likely to hide and more likely to shut up eventually than the breeds listed in cell one, especially if not threatened by the so-called intruder. 
Sell True, St. Bernard, the well-bred one, Great Dane, Collie, German, short-haired pointer, Harrier, Field Spaniel, Sealyham Terrier, Cage Hund, Tibetan Terrier, Cairn Terrier, Shen Shih Tzu, Pug, Welsh Terrier, Miniature Schnauzer, well-bred, Manwick Terrier, Australian Terrier, Silky Terrier. Cell 3 may also be incessant barkers, but they are less alert and thus more discriminating than those in cell 1. While they also bark from the safety of hiding places, they don't usually bark at the slightest hall noise outside an apartment. Cell 3. Irish Setter, Grey Hound, Vishla, Saluki, Afghan Hound, Brittany Spaniel, Tibetan Terrier, West Highland White Terrier, Shetland Sheepdog, Whippet, Italian Greyhound. Cell 4 may contain the best watchdogs. They will bark at noises but are more discriminating than their comrades in cells 1, 2, and 3. They will learn to adapt to repetitive hall noises in an apartment and select for attention only those noises and people they find novel or peculiar with reassurance they can be induced to be quiet in essence they give alarm and then if everything turns out to be kosher they will quiet down cell four newfoundland old english sheepdog well-bred basset hound bloodhound otter hound black and tan coon hound english foxhound golden retriever semoid Labrador Retriever, Flat-Coated Retriever, American Foxhound, Curly-Coated Retriever, Gordon Setter, Irish Water Spaniel, English Setter, English Springer Spaniel, Pointer, French Bulldog, Welsh Springer Spaniel, Dandy Dinmont Terrier, Soft-Coated Wheaton Terrier, English Cocker Spaniel, Beagle, Cocker Spaniel Well-Bred, Okay, so that's the American Cocker Spaniel, Pekingese, Tibetan Terrier, Bichon Frise, Border Terrier, English Toy Spaniel, Japanese Spaniel, which is now called the Japanese Chin, Maltese Terrier. Cell 5. We have cell 5. We have the breeds that may sleep through an intrusion into their owner's household. The Borzoi may snap at an intruder if disturbed. The Husky may greet they're talking about the Siberian Husky, intruders with friendship. The size of the two gigantic hounds may be enough to scare wrongdoers away, even though their placid temperament protrudes attack. They're talking about the Irish Wolfhound and the Scottish Deerhound. Some Irish Wolfhounds may be natural guard dogs, then heaven help the intruder. Cell 5, Borzoi, Irish Wolfhound, Clumber Spaniel, Scottish Deerhound, Siberian Husky. Cell 6, we are back to the incessant barkers. Like those in Cell 1, they may continuously bark with uninterrupted ardor. However, these breeds are more likely to put on a brave show, lunging out from their hiding places, the smaller ones snapping at the heels of passerby. Old English sheep dogs may become formidable but fearful attackers, easily scared off by an aggressive approach. These are the breeds that will bark continuously at an, an, at, at an intruder from a distance. They may become brave if the intruder turns his or her back to them, which may result in some nipping some nipping at heels, but they will immediately retreat to a def defensive def distance when the intruder turns and faces them. These are They are intimidated by a direct frontal approach and encouraged by a retreat. They are also hard to shut up and don't readily habituate to innocuous noises they have heard repeatedly. Cell 6, Old English Sheepdog, Puppy Mill. Sussex Spaniel, Tibetan Terrier, 
Miniature Poodle, Toy Manchester Terrier, Yorkshire Terrier, Chihuahua, Miniature Pincher, and uh, the Puppy Mill Toy Poodle. Cell 7. Breeds are not as cowardly as their comrades in Cell 6. They may be incessant barkers and may react to a frontal approach aggressively. The small ones may nip at the intruder's trousers from the front as well as the back. The owners call them brave. The Tibetan Terrier and Lakeland Terriers, the Corgi and the Basenji may be able to back up their threats by a formidable bite. The chow can be quite ferocious, but usually isn't. Okay, so they're, they're talking about the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. A Cocker Spaniel and Tibetan Terrier. And, oh, hold. Cell 7, Chow Chow, Pembroke Welsh Corgi, Scottish Terrier, Tibetan Terrier, Basenji, Lakeland Terrier, Fox Terrier, Um, this book talks about this book talks about both fox terriers, a smooth uh, fox terrier and the wire haired fox terrier. Um, the the sizes I I I, I don't know. There, there might be miniature fox terriers and and other sizes, and the pomeranian, the cocker spaniel and Tibetan terrier in cell eight may bark at intruders. The puppy mill cockers are usually smaller than their well-bred cousins and don't have the physique the physic to back up their threats, but they may bark incessantly. Tibetan terriers um, are peculiar since they can be found in cells 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. This is because they are a relatively new breed in the U.S. whose type has not yet been established. Okay, I don't know. Um, okay, this book is written in 1980, so I don't know, um, you know, um, whether they're recognized. Well, I guess they are by the American Kennel Club since they're in the book. Cell 8, a Puppy Mill Cocker Spaniel, Tibetan Terrier, and Cell 8 again, Tibetan Terrier. Cell 9 contains the Alaskan Malamute, which is attentive to noises, may bark, but despite its size, is not considered a good guard. However, some Malamutes can be ferocious. Okay, so cell 9, the Alaskan Malamute. In cell 10, we have the Tibetan Terrier again. In, okay. Okay, cell 10, Tibetan Terrier. In 11, we have some of the better guard dogs, since they are very alert when on the lookout, but don't bark incessantly because they become habituated to common noises. Their protectiveness toward home and family are readily controllable by most owners. The great size of some naturally scare away intruders. They tend to hold intruders at bay rather than attacking. The Airedale Terrier can be a tenacious fighter. The, the cardigan will drive intruders away. Surprisingly, the standard poodle falls in this category. So 11. Mastiff Bouvier de Flandre. Great Pyrenees, Bernice Mountain Dog, Cardigan Welsh Corgi, Airedale Terrier, Standard Poodle, Tibetan Terrier. It does not say anything about cell 12 and 13. Cell 14 contains some very alert natural guard dogs that are high in territoriality but are emotionally vacillating. This means that they may fearfully attack and or challenge would be intruders. The terriers would 
not be dissuaded by a counterattack. They may be incessant barkers. Counter threats may increase their fear and their ferocity. This book says natural guard dogs usually hold intruders at bay by barking and growling, but has to be trained to attack. Cell 15, oh. Cell 14 has the Tibetan Terrier, Irish Terrier, and the Shukburka. I don't, I'm not sure how you say it. Cell 15 contains barkers <coughs> and good guard dogs. They will bark at strange noises. Most may challenge intruders and they can be taught to attack. However, they can be usually controlled by their owners. Cell 15, the Akita, German Shepherd Well-Bred, Weimaraner, Chesapeake Bay Retriever, Norwegian Elkhound, German Wiredhead Pointer, Bull Terrier, Kerry Blue Terrier, Tibetan Terrier. Doesn't say anything about Cell 16. Cell 17, the breeds are starting to get dangerous. The ones in this cell may be dangerous because of their vacillating Fearfulness. However, they are outclassed by their... Oh, okay, hold on. Cell 17, German Shepherd, Puppy Mill, Belgian Malinois. It's, it's said that um, there's a book and a, and a dog show that, that said that Belgian Sheepdog, also known as the Grenin Doll in America, Belgian Tuveron. Okay, that was cell 17. Okay, cell 18. Breeds in this cell can be the most viciously dangerous breeds known. They are what breeders call shy sharp. They attack both out of fear and for territorial defense. Their great size can make them very formidable to intruders and very protective of home and loved ones. But watch out. They may be, un they may be uncontrollably aggressive even towards strange visitors. They don't make ideal pets. Cell 18, St. Bernard Puppy Mill, Rottweiler, German Shepherd Puppy Mill, Doberman Pinscher, Cooley. Cell 19, contains the potentially dangerous breeds. They may attack out of sheer dominance and territoriality. These breeds especially the larger ones, should be owned only by experts in controlling aggressive dogs. Their potential for harm is too great for anyone else to own them. Even then, they should receive extensive training and socialization. With that, they may be passable as pets. Cell 19, Bull Mastiff, Commodore, Kuvaz, Briard, American Staffordshire Bull Terrier, Standard, which is a miniature Schnauzer, um, which is the meat, that is, yeah, which is, um, okay, the Standard Schnauzer is, is medium in size. Kuvaz, again, Giant Schnauzer, which is a big dog, not giant. Rhodesian Ridgeback, Doberman Pinscher. The English Bulldog is in cell 20. It's the only breed that is very sluggish, that it's, it's a very sluggish wash dog, but a formidable guard dog. In essence, you have to wake it up and point it toward the intruder, whom it may attack if sufficiently annoyed and if it has the energy. Okay, so... So, didn't... So as you guessed, cell 20, English Bulldog.